Money, Old School Hip Hop One on One, WRUG Radio, and we here with the veteran himself, my man DJ Eddie F, legendary Heavy D and the Boys. Hey man, first off, we want to say condolences definitely on my man Hev. You know, uh, you just got through rocking the set, doing a tribute to Heavy D. So definitely, uh, as far as what you got going on right now, what you doing now? Well, I'm, I'm out here in the A. I mean, you know, music is going through like a bunch of transitions over the last, say, five to ten years. Right. You know, I was out here, um, I've been out here since like the mid 2000s. I was doing some consultant, you know, out of Def Jam with L.A. Reid. Um, and that when I came out here, the energy was so crazy. Like, I was going back and forth from Atlanta to New York. And it was like, it was like, at the time, it was like 10, 15 times more popping here than it was there. That's when like New York was like a little, New York music scene was like dying a little bit. Right. You know, and being that I have roots, not only I'm from New York, you know, Mount Vernon, but I also have roots in Atlanta from, you know, be, being um, BPA and all the face in okay. the 90s. So right. I had, so a lot of the people that I had seen, you know, starting when I first came down to the A, like early 90s, they had like blown up and progressed to, you know, um, you know, trickies with the red zone, you know, I remember when he was just starting, like the, you know, T.I. Grant Hustle, I remember when he was just starting, when he was on, you know, Ghetto Vision with KP, um, you know, and so on and so forth. A lot of artists that had started, I had seen develop from being like, you know, baby acts, artists, new artists into big major powerhouses and like a lot of, you know, power and um, musical like centers here. So, you know, I, I end up making the transition after, you know, a few years of going back and forth, I end up coming here. Uh, and this Atlanta's like a mecca for uh, the black experience. I mean, you got, you got Black Hollywood, you got Tyler Perry here. You got, um, you know, Major City, Black Mayor, shout out to Cassine Reed, you know, also a, 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 a graduate of the hip hop generation, you know, with, with Howard University, with, 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 with Puff, and you know, he's now mayor of Atlanta, you know, so you have like a lot of the culture here, and it's like a very progressive black lifestyle for black people. Yeah. Um, which is yeah. good. You can have really good quality of living. Yeah. Um, and it's also a hub. It's a center. At the end of the day, you could, you know, you could bounce from Atlanta, you go to New York, you could bounce to Miami, you could bounce to LA, and it's like a central location. So um, I'm here, and um, I'm actually working right now. I just started working with um, two, um, uh, one independent company, a music and publishing company, and then another company at um, that I'm working with. And, um, I can't really divulge the details, but it's something exciting that's getting okay. ready to come up for the DJs. Yeah. You'll hear about it in the next yeah. month or two. Um, and I'm actually a, a partner in that company and I'm on the board of directors and everything. And um, I, I give you a hint, it's something major, like, you know, put it like this, the chairman of the RIA is on the board, the director wow. with us as well. So okay. it's a major situation. It's involving technology, it's involving DJs. Um, and you know, I have a passion for technology too. A lot of people don't know that um, before we got in the music business, um, I was in the freshman year in college. I was gonna be a um, computer science, computer engineer major. So I always kind of stayed in the technology. Um, and then it's funny, I started, you know, when the computers came into the game, into the business, not even the music, just in the business. Um, Cause you know, you're talking about coming from the 80s all the way through the 90s, you know, Microsoft, Windows 95, Windows 98, email, internet. So when, when technology started coming heavy into business, I started doing the computers again as a, as a hobby, just to run my business. I could do it myself since I was, you know, went to training courses and, you know, a couple of certification courses. So I was like my own network admin with, with um, Windows, but I've always been a Mac man. Anybody that know me knows, all my friends know, I've been talking about Apple since the 90s. I was like, watch this company, they're going to they gonna, they gonna turn around. They gonna come. I've been saying this since 90, late 90s. So for them to make the whole turnaround, become like 
the number one, sometimes the number two, sometimes the number one company in the world, you know, them and Exxon be trading spaces, you know. Right. Like, um, you know, I'm all in there. I also do, um, I do app development. Um, I do web development. Um, I'm actually an um, iTunes aggregator. Like I have an um, actual license with, with Apple to, um, you know, sell music through the iTunes store. Um, so like, and I'm getting ready to also launch like an urban version of like TuneCore. That's gonna be like based here, where artists can come through and get their artists on iTunes, their music on iTunes. But not only get their music on iTunes, get all the other tools they need. Because a lot of people want to know what's up with promotion, what's up with with online marketing and promotion, what's up with. Uh, with you know having a legal team, a promotional team, touring, you know doing clubs, just getting that whole thing going. Besides, okay, a lot of people I come to me and say, I got my music on iTunes, but now what? You know, I'm, I'm one of six million uh, people that's on iTunes, so I'm going to help them do that because. I pretty much have been involved in every aspect of the business. I know so many people, really great people in the business. So it's kind of something that we're going to do as far as connecting people with, with the right, you know, the right publicist, the right, you know, the right video director. If you want to do a video, just all the things you would need, you know. And if you have your own people, that's fine. But then you might need this one thing to mix and match, like kind of like, you know, like buffet style. You know? <laughs> so um, that's, what, that's what I'm doing now as well. Okay. Um, I'm really excited about this technology game. A lot of people feel like the music business is dead. Right. And because of sales and all that stuff, and they say you can't make any money, but I actually have a different theory. Because the funny thing, I come from Uptown Records. With a lot of people, if you know my history, you know we first started on Uptown Records. Our first album was done for, our first album budget, 75000 Wow. Also, Guy. That great album they made with yes. I Like and and, uh, Teddy's, and Jam. Teddy's Jam and Groove Me and all that. They first album budget was seventy five thousand. Wow. So now this is from an era where you had to go to the studio and record every day. We didn't have Pro Tools. We didn't have email. <laughs> sampling was just coming out. We was pioneering sampling. Hey hey hey! So you got Yo. people. So people to say you can't. You know. That was at the time you're spending a thousand dollars, two thousand a day in the studio. Now you can you can buy a whole setup for like three thousand, five thousand. Have your whole Pro Tools at home. So for people to say it's like in one aspect, it's it's like the game is is flooded, but it's also easier to make your investment. And if you get a hit, you can reach more people. So I I think it's not like. There was a time period where people was just throwing any kind of music out and they was like, okay, we're just gonna sell, we're gonna make, you know, we're gonna sell 100,000 albums regardless. The thing is, it just has to be good. I mean, if you make a record, a single that people like, they're gonna buy it. They're gonna buy 200,000. They're gonna buy 300,000. At the end of the day, 300,000 singles for something that took you maybe 5,000, 10,000 to, to put together, that ain't, mm -hmm. that ain't bad. No, no, that's actually good. You know, but, you know, check, check, check. everything is you. over now. So, right. you know, like? it's like, things are more expensive right. and cheaper. Cell phone bills used to be $1,500. I remember, I remember I know I have friends in the business who's paying $5,000 for a month for their cell phone. Now cell phone is like $99 unlimited, $69. So it's like, while some costs went up, some costs came down. So I think people just have to be smart and they have to like figure out what it is that how they want to put their thing together. They got to make quality music. And, um, and you don't need the big, big, big production. If it costs low and you make some money, you can make some money. Man, no doubt. You just got first hand knowledge of one of the best. You're a legend in the game. My man, J. Eddie. Uh, Untouchable. You still roll with some of those same pants? Y'all don't come back with yeah, some? No, I mean, we, you know, we always making music, but I'm saying we're not going to come back, per se, because you. everything changes. Brands change, you know. Right. Used to be MCI, now it's Verizon. You know, right. I think, you know, at some point you got to update the brand and move forward. So I'm, I'm down here, I'm going to tell you now, we're going to have quality music. You know, 
So I'm doing something similar, but I'm gonna probably do it somehow in the more iTunes thing. Okay. You know? Alright, wait a minute. Checking for it. Okay. And the new technology, that's you know the secret. We waiting on that to launch because I'm eager to know what that's all about. So I know it's gonna be something big when it's coming from my man. So just definitely, man, you know, thank you for bringing us great music, you know, a great group, man. You know, just one of a kind, man. It's a true veteran in the game. Y'all keep showing my man Eddie Elf some love. And hey, we're gonna have this new stuff coming out to the show. This is your man Easy Money from the A School Hip Hop 101, WRUG Radio. Yo, what's up? DJ Eddie Elf, Eddie and the Boys, Untouchable. I'm here with Hip Hop 101, WRUG Radio.